Yeah, we now have two looks that you need to get used to. <laughs> yeah, we got new glasses, you know. These actually look much better than I thought they were going to be. You guys may have seen uh, that, up, that I updated my profile picture from this to this. And yeah, I mean, I, I like the new look. I like the glasses. I think they look amazing. Apart from the fact that you can see my reflection a little bit, but you know, it's fine. It shows you that I'm recording the video and that you should keep watching. So with that being said, keep watching. So as of the making of this video, Inside Out 2 came out 11 days ago, and you guys can check out my review of Inside Out 2, but short summary, I thought it was an incredible movie. Uh, I would say it's on par with the first Inside Out in many ways, but if you like the first Inside Out, you're gonna love Inside Out 2. That was my conclusion. Conclusion, everything is right with the world. But something changed in my head as I watched this movie absolutely tear it up in the box office, becoming the highest grossing movie of the year already, surpassing Dune 2 of all movies. Like holy shit, that was an incredible thing for me to witness. But while all that was happening, I was thinking of something. Why did this movie get so successful? And I think I have the exact reason. And no, it's not just because it's a sequel to Inside Out, although that could probably be the case. It's not just because it's made by Pixar, one of the most loved animation studios of all time. No, the reason, the absolutely definitive reason why this movie made so much money is because of its marketing. I would say from the months of April to the release date of June 14th, this movie was marketed to hell. Like. You could scroll down your YouTube shorts feed, your Instagram feed, and you, oh, even your Twitter feed maybe. Yes, I'm still calling it Twitter. I will take that to my damn grave. But you, get, but you can be scrolling down all the time, and you can be seeing clips of uh, many things from Inside Out 2 before its release. Most notably, you can probably see Joy saying, Delusional? Of course I'm delusional! Yeah, that clip went viral for many reasons, but, you know, I still think it's kind of funny. But... Yeah, this movie was marketed to hell. Like, you could not go a second without noticing that this movie was coming out. And that does a lot to the brain. It, it does a lot to the mind. It tells you, like, hmm, maybe this movie's going to be good if they're pushing it this hard. Maybe I should go see it. And that's why the movie did so well uh, in its debut. And that's why it's going to continue to do well up until releases on streaming services. But also, Pixar didn't do this or I should say Disney didn't do this because Disney is obviously the owner of Pixar and they decide all the marketing stuff, but they did not do this with Elemental. And I don't know why they did not do this with Elemental because Elemental, as we all know, was a pretty good movie. We thought that a movie about a fire girl and water boy could be very mediocre and just that the fact that the animation was gonna save it. But no, Elemental is in my opinion, an S tier Pixar movie and it should be regarded as a modern classic in my opinion. But I think the reason why Disney did not promote Elemental as much is probably because they didn't have they did not have as much faith in it maybe because they're tar they're going more into the sequel route unfortunately and they don't want these uh, biography uh, movies, you know, movies that are basically a biography of the director, basically, because the director said that this is a very personal story to him. And apparently, Pete Docter, as we all know, one of the most highly regarded Pixar people, he said that uh, now they want to make stories that are not just like, uh, they're not personal stories of the directors. They want to make stories that, you know, are very relatable. Now that can go so many ways. He's either trying to secretly say, yeah, we're going to make sequels so that way Disney can stop throw putting us down our throat and we can make more money while doing it. Or he can say, we're probably going back to like very like either personal stories that have like a lot of meaning that everyone can understand or sequel cash grabs. Like, Pixar's classic lineage does not have a lot of like personal stories that everyone can relate to. I mean, the thing that pops up into my head immediately is Toy Story, but you know, that's like the main one in my opinion. I mean, I'm trying to think of other ones that are like very like relatable. I mean, I wouldn't say Finding Nemo is relatable. Incredibles, it's not relatable. The Goat is not relatable. Ratatouille is probably not relatable. Like most of these classic Pixar movies are not really relatable. So I, I, I have, I have, you know, I don't know why they don't want to go back to like these director biographies because that's mainly what they did in the classic days and that's what they were doing like after Toy Story 4 they were doing these like cool concepts like Soul, Luca, Turning Red like these movies are actually either decent to very good 
So I don't know why they just can't keep doing that and just put out sequels every now and then. I mean, we had a whole era of sequels a few years ago, remember? So here's my message to Disney. Market Pixar stuff. You guys market your movies all the time. Why can't you do the same for Pixar? They clearly have given you all of their talent. They have some of the most amazing, like, most talented people. You can see it in their movies as you're watching them that their talent is undeniable. And it should be said more and more that Pixar is the gold standard for animation and, like, storytelling and animation. Like, you can't deny it, bro. Like, whether it's classic movies or now, they can show that they can still cook. Like, I know we like to clown on Elio right now, but trust me, that movie is going to shock us. Toy Story 5 is going to shock us for how bad it is. Pixar's movies must be marketed, Disney. Please do the right thing. If you do what you did with Inside Out 2, it can go a long way. Trust me.